Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Rajiv and welcome back on Avriti. Today I am bringing you a tutorial about how to use clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator 2017 CC and uh, I'm gonna keep it very short as I always promise but the problem is that it gets extended because I don't want to leave anything behind uh, but this time I'll really you know try my level best to keep it within 10 minutes. So uh, this is what I have done in advance for you people a double color text which is uh, having a diagonal slice sort of effect and then there is this picture which is uh, sent inside the font and there is this graphic which is extracted from an image all right so we are going to do all of it one by one but before i want you to understand the basic concept of uh, clipping mask so there are two words which make the term clipping mask first is clipping and there is mask so basically clipping requires a clipping path to be present in order to mask a particular object or a group of object or variety of different objects. So we are going to do a little experiment here in order to understand how the clipping path affects when applied as a clipping mask on a particular object. All right. So uh, we need to create few objects real quick. So I'm going to grab up this pen tool and create a It's just an abstract shape, no meaning. I just need something on the, and I'm also gonna fill it up with a random color. And then let's resize it a little smaller. We do not have a lot of space here. Okay, now this is one single vector object. And a more complex uh, composition would be having multiple objects. So I'm gonna create a composition which has multiple objects. Uh, grouped together Change its color. And this is just pure random you know piece of work I'm doing today. All right, I'm doing this color. All right, so I'm gonna uh, group these three. The shortcut for grouping uh, is Control plus G, and for ungrouping the same, you can press Control plus Shift plus G. Very handy shortcuts. So I have a single object. I have a group of objects now the third type of object I want here is a bitmap image so I'll go to file menu and then choose place and then I'm gonna browse to the folder where I've kept my image and I'm going to select the first one here and the image I am using right now is downloaded from Google images I'll be putting the link of this image in the description and then I'm gonna have some Text clip just increase the size and I also want it bold. Perfect. So we have a variety of objects kept here and we will try to apply clipping mask on all four of them. So to apply clipping mask we need to have a clip path and for that I'm gonna just use an ellipse, a circle indeed. Now, first I'm going to keep this circle here, then I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm going to click on this button which basically swaps the fill color to outline color. So the fill color becomes the outline color and outline color which was nothing became the fill color and we just have the outline of the object. We'll just understand it in a while why I did it. And then I'm also going to make a copy of it here and this time I'm going to remove the fill and outline both just the path is there okay. now in all three cases I have a circle okay so basically these two properties are irrelevant when you apply clipping mask on the basis of that because what you need is just the path it just demands for a path and even if I select these two objects and right click on it and then choose clipping mask you will see that the properties of the path in this case was fill got lost in the process in the same way if I select these two the group Bennett and the clipping path and right click and then choose clipping mask the result is exactly the same okay in the third case this time I'm gonna use the shortcut or you can alternatively also go to object menu and then choose clipping mask and then choose make i just prefer 
right click menu a lot of times and sometimes the shortcut control plus 7 on the keyboard now in all three of the cases result is exactly the same okay so do not get misled by the fact that your objects which you are going to use as a clipping path had some fill or an outline applied to it that doesn't matter okay another thing which you need to keep in notice that you cannot use a bitmap object as vector uh, as clipping path you need to have one single clipping path only okay and that has to be vector in nature so i'm gonna clip the text also i'm going to select both of them and then choose new clipping path another prerequisite for uh, making it happen the clipping mask is that the clipping path should be on top of the object of all the objects if it is a group of objects it has to be on the very top of the object all right so now we have a better understanding of how clipping mask work now let's quickly see how we can do these so i'm gonna just select all of it and hit delete on the keyboard now we are gonna type clipping mask first so i'm going to switch to text tool and here i'm going to make it so just click and then type clipping I'm going to make a copy of it and type mask. Okay. Let's right align both of them and also increase the size. You can hold shift for constraining the proportions of the text you are transforming. Now, notice two things. Now let's let's get done with this quickly so uh, basically if you inspect it there are two text kept on top of each other there are two different uh, text placed here and what i did i created a clipping path something like this then you need to switch back to move tool make sure that you click outside and it is not selected then switch to pen tool and then click on the anchor point now that step was very very important otherwise you would you know add anchor point to this path if this is selected and i switch to pen tool and I start drawing from here i'll be basically removing this anchor point instead of starting a new path so i need to make sure that everything is not selected and then I go to pen tool and then I can hover on top of this anchor and start a new path. So sometimes it, it becomes very confusing. So that's why I'll uh, mention it. Okay. Now the next thing is I need, I'll just, uh, I need to select the text behind and how I can do that. If I click on that, it won't let me select the text behind. So what I'll do, I'll select both of them by clicking and dragging it like so, and then shift click on this one. To deselect it and only the text is selected so i'm gonna say Control c to copy the text now the text goes in my clipboard next thing i am doing i'm going to select these two so the top shape i have created along with the text and then right click and then choose make clipping mask so what i just did i clipped the text into this and I have the text already copied in my clipboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this one, the bottom shape, which I have created and say control plus B to paste the text in my clipboard at the bottom of this object. Control plus B is the shortcut for paste it in back. So control plus B. Now it appears as if nothing happened, but actually the text got placed beneath this object and that is selected also. So I'm going to shift click on this one to select. The text which I copied below the object along with the object and then right click and then choose make clipping mask. So it seems as if nothing happened. Even if you zoom in, you won't find any difference at all. Okay. Now we have control over both the both the objects are different now. And we can you know target them separately. So if I just click on it, notice on the command panel we have these two options available to us the very first option is edit clipping path so as long as this option is selected we no longer have the control over the content which is inside the clipping mask so we need control 
of this text written inside the clicking mask. So for that, we need to switch to this option, which says edit contents. The moment I click on this, by default switches to the content. And in this case, it happens to be the text inside. So I'm gonna change its color. And then, yeah, it successfully accepts change. And the same can be done at the bottom also. Make sure that the bottom shape is selected, the clipping mask, clipping group is selected. And then you switch to contents and then you can fill a different text, a uh, different color. Okay. Let's go with this one. So that's how you work with clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator. Now the next thing is, can we utilize text as clipping path? Yes, we can do so. I'm gonna place it here. I'll make sure it's embedded. And I'm gonna place it just below the mask text. Okay. So, Let's just cut it because we need to place it at the back of the mask, which will be utilized as a clipping path in this case. Control plus B, the same shortcut. If I zoom in, you'll see that the text is on top, uh, the image is at the back. So I'm gonna select both of them and then say Control plus seven on the keyboard to make clipping mask. And we can see that the image is successfully sent inside the font. Okay, now can we uh, move the image to, uh, you know, place it in a different position yes we can do so and for that again we need to switch to edit content click on edit content and now we have control over the content to be inside and i can place it as per my own choice this seems better i'll just double click to come out of the clipping group and that's it okay so we can successfully do it now the next thing is extracting a shape out of an image by using clipping mask so I'm gonna go to file menu and import another image which I have by choosing place command and I'm gonna put it here. Let's embed it also and this time I'm gonna use pen tool to draw a path around the image which I need to extract from this, uh, this picture. So now if this is happening while creating the path that means the fill color is selected and we do not have any outline color for uh, you know solving this problem you just need to hit shift plus x which basically swaps the fill color to outline color so shift plus x is very handy shortcut i'm just roughly doing it you can spend more time and you know trace out the contours of the image nicely so I have the path defined. I just need to make sure that both the things are selected. I can right click and then choose clipping mask. Fine. All right. Now I need to, you know, this uh, little shadow sort of effect I have created. I'll just quickly show you how it's done. So I'm gonna go to reflect tool and then mirror it like so. I'm also going to place it. And the shadow I have created by utilizing the ellipse tool filling it up with black i'm going to effect and applying this feather effect on it five points let's click on the preview okay and i'm gonna place it here so that it appears as if it is levitating in the middle oh so uh, this was the basics of clipping mask we can certainly utilize it in so many different ways and uh, i hope that while practicing with it in your projects you would come to realize and you would discover new ways to utilize clipping mask thank you so much for staying till the end of this video if i missed anything please do mention in the comment box and i would try to incorporate it in the next tutorial i'll be doing about clipping mask Thank you so much. And if you like the content, please do subscribe. It really gives me a morale boost. Thank you so much.